Dee 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 dee. So hi you guys. Today I'm doing a DIY video on two things, and they're pretty easy to make. What you'll be needing are pliers, one little needle, something that won't hurt you, and some beads, whatever color you want. I'm choosing eight beads to fit on the necklace. This is a real quick one. It won't take but like a minute to do it. So let's get started, shall we? So you're just gonna take your pliers and your needle thingy, and you're gonna easily just bend it until it makes a curve. Now since you're done with that, you're gonna take your beads, and I'm just gonna easily put this one on there. I can't really see, so I'm gonna do it off camera. You're just gonna keep on putting them on there until you kind of fill up the thing. If I can find the freaking hole. I'm gonna easily slide them on. Wee! Yay, I finally got it for once. So I'm finished with doing that. Now I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm just gonna make a curve right there so they don't come off. So I'm just gonna take these and curl them until it makes a curl where the beads can't come off. So I'm just gonna keep on curling that. I have a necklace for LPS Day wear. I know y'all already know how to put on a necklace, but I just want to show you what it looks like. Boom. Now on to the next thing that we're going to do, which is something that involves clay. The things you'll be needing are white clay, yellow clay, and red clay. You also will be needing black paint, white paint, and pink paint. You will also be needing a dotting tool and a slicing tool. I don't know if you know what this is already, but if you haven't guessed, it's bacon and eggs. I also forgot to say you will also need an oven and a pen and not pen and tin foil so you can put them in there and uh, this has to be baked clay. It can't be any other clay, just baked clay or some type of clay that can be baked in the oven. So let's get started. First, you're going to be needing a small or medium sized ball of white clay. You're going to easily push it down, but not too much. Make sure it still has a little bit of thick on it. Like I did already, you're going to kind of take your finger and press in, so it's going to make the shape of the egg. Now you're going to take a lot smaller yellow piece of clay. You're going to easily take it, put it in one place, I prefer probably about right here, and you're going to press it down. Not way too much, but just enough to get the yolk. And now you have your egg so far, but now we got to do the bacon. You're going to take your red piece of clay, a big piece, and you're going to flatten it until it gets really extremely fat. I am doing it on this blue piece above the table because I don't want to get my table dirty. Now since we're done with that, you're going to cut three pieces of red out of this. Here's the second and third one. Now you're going to take your big piece of white clay and you're going to smush it the same while you're going to cut two pieces. Now you're just going to cut. Now you're going to trim the pieces off so they don't look too, like, round. Trim this side and trim this side just a little bit. Now do that with both your red and all your whites. You're going to take your red first and put it on the bottom. Then you're going to take your white. Then your red again. Then your white. And then your red. And then just kind of make them curved. Now you're going to push down until it kind of gets flat. I know it looks messy right now, but now you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut down. Then you're gonna take the smallest piece you have and you're gonna trim it. And there's your bacon. I preferably use this side since it has more white on it than the other. Now time for the best part. Well, for me at least. This is gonna be the last step and you're gonna be Painting! I know you can't see that much, but yeah. So with my dotting tool, I'm going to dip it in the black. I'm going to take it and you're going to somehow put two little eyes on it. Like so. I like to make a surprise face. So I'm going to put a little small little dot for the mouth. Ta-da! Now waiting for the black to dry real quick on the egg, we're going to do the black on this one now. You're going to take it and make a small little face on it. I'm going to draw two little lines. Sort of like a greater than and less than sign. It's going to have closed eyes and it's going to have the dot just like this one. Now you're going to paint little pink dots under the eyes for cheeks. Like so. I'm going to take my pink again and I'm going to put little dots under the eyes of the egg. Like so. 
Once your black is dry, you can start dipping your dotting tool and you can start putting dots on the face like this. It will give you the eyes for the egg. Now you're finished with your bacon and eggs. Now, since that they are so clay and they can still get messed up, we're gonna put them in the oven and I'll show you that in just a So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video. The directions is to put them in the oven at the 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Set it for 20 minutes because your oven, if you're like, if your oven mine is like mine, I can't talk. Um, uh, put it for 20 minutes because it takes five minutes to get ready. And then the rest of the 15 minutes will be when it cooks. And I'm not gonna show when it comes out, but I will put pictures on my Google Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, bye.